Hey guys, good morning. Today is the 21st of October. Let me make sure the door's shut. Okay. <laughs> Devin just went to get us something to eat. His sister stayed the night here last night because of um, his dad just had back surgery and he had like a little complication. So they're, he was back at the hospital. But um, anyways, they went to get us some food so I don't have to cook. <laughs> and Jesse's in there playing a game. I'm sitting here. I just got done cutting all the interfacing so now I gotta get my iron and set it up and iron all the notion pouches and put the interfacing on it and then I can start sewing the notion pouches yay I'm so excited <laughs> uh I'm dreading this week just sewing it's going because I'm gonna be sewing all week so all the vlogs this week whenever I do vlog will be so heavy probably <laughs> but um I'm watching YouTube videos on my phone while I'm doing this I'm gonna set up my ironing and sit here and watch YouTube videos and iron all these notion pouches and then get ready to sew, start sewing after Devin leaves later. Yep. Okay, I got all the um, notion pouches interfaced. The outers, you know, they interfaced. <laughs> all the wrinkles ironed out of them and all that jazz. And I finished cutting the Hello Kitty ones and the giraffe ones. So I'm going to go ahead and make them too. <laughs> I don't lost count how many bags of this, but now I got my big box of zippers and I got to match up zippers with all these prints and then I can start sewing in a little bit. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to sewing all these. The project bags I think will be fine, but the notion pouches are what are annoying. But this, um, after this update and I'm just sewing, practicing new bags and making stuff for home, uh, I found a pattern that I'm going to be trying and if I get it if I get good at it before January and I like it enough, I may be doing away with these kinds of notion pouches for a while <laughs> or forever. I don't know, but I found another cool pattern and it's the way this sew the zipper in on it is a whole lot easier than the way I do these ones and uh, less likely to break needles <laughs> every time. So I'm, that's one thing I'm excited about after this update. Look at my, my dirty <laughs> wash shirt. That's like a catch-all area, all kinds of stuff over there. But um uh, that's one thing I want to work on this Christmas time is different bag patterns and stuff to make one better bags and two it is easier for me to make a large quantity of them because I have almost 5,000 subscribers and there's no way I can make a bag for everybody so I'm trying to figure out ways to make bags more bags easier than um, these ones because these ones take a little while so yeah it's random but I'm gonna hop off here and start matching zippers in my fancy zippers box <laughs> because <laughs> I'm so fancy. Hey guys, it's later in the day. It is almost 7. I'm sitting here working on Notion pouches right now. I'm literally in the middle of one <laughs> because I was like, I haven't recorded all day. But I got this many zippers in and there's actually one more but I need to change the thread color before I do the top stitching on that one. But yeah, so I don't even know how many that is but I, I have I don't forgot. 50... 50, I think 50 notion pouches. So this is the stack. I still got to put the zippers in. That's my goal right now. It's just my first step is getting the zippers put in and I would be more done, but for my sewing machine was really messing up earlier. The tension was like all over the place. It wouldn't keep tension or whatever. And I feel like the little, um, I don't know how to, what the word is, <laughs> the little metal things that kind of pull the fabric through. It's like, it's not grabbing the fabric. So I'm gonna I'm about to look up and try to figure out why it's doing that and maybe how I can fix it. <laughs> because Joanne's is having a big sale on some sewing machines right now and I've been looking at them. And I'm thinking about buying a new sewing machine. Uh, it's a big investment though. <laughs> I mean, I do sew a lot, but it's still a lot of money. And the ones I was looking at, they're normally like 400 something dollars and they're on sale big time. One of them is a Singer one. I, I'm using Brother right now. But, um, and it's down from 400 and something to 199 And I'm, I was thinking about getting it, but it's so much money. <laughs> I, and I know it, I could deduct it, you know, some of it for business purposes, but it's still a huge investment. And this one is still working, so I'd hate to buy a brand new one and then still have this one, you know. I need to try to figure out what's wrong with this one first. I would love to have a new sewing machine, though. <laughs> Because they're so nice. And the one that I was looking at can quilt also. This one can't. And, um, I mean, this one can, but it's harder to do it. And 
The other one has a hundred stitches and all that. That's on it. <laughs> and it has one of those extended things right here so that you can have like more space. I want it really bad. Devin, you know, Devin said that it's fine. He doesn't care. He's willing to work more overtime this week and everything, but uh, I'm just, I, I'm really bad at spending a lot of money on myself because I uh, always feel guilty. I have buyer's remorse all the time. <laughs> but I need to, um, I was planning on buying a new sewing machine after the new year anyways, but because Devin's going to be off of work for two weeks in December for Christmas, um, he's only going to get paid for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. So there, there's, <laughs> that's like uh, 12 days, I think, maybe 11, that he's not going to get paid for. So we have to prepare for that now. And that's one reason I'm doing these, this huge bag update. And if I buy a new sewing machine, it's going to take out of that. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's a hard choice. Jesse's being really quiet. I better go check on him. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to pop in again and give you guys an update because I realized I hadn't recorded any um, at all today. It's been really gloomy here today. It was supposed to thunderstorm real bad, I thought, but it hasn't come yet unless it's coming later tonight. It did rain a lot, and it's just been really overcast all day. So I, I unplugged the lights outside, the Christmas lights, or not Christmas, Halloween lights. Because it's been raining all day and I don't like to turn them on when it's raining because I'm, I'm afraid it's going to like short out. I'm sitting here watching Friends and sewing. I really want that sewing machine. <laughs> but I don't want to spend all the money on it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be sewing, I guess, all week. I was hoping to get more done today, but the tension issues. Yeah, alright, I'll talk to you guys later or tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I'm trying to turn off this lamp. I can't find the thing. <laughs> you know, we've had that lamp for a couple of years. You would think I would remember what kind of mechanism it has, but I'm always looking for the kind that you push instead of the kind you turn. I'm in the kitchen right now cleaning. I took a shower. <laughs> uh, my hair needed to be washed. But I'm in here cleaning. It's almost time to wake Devin up. It's 9.44. I got the stove soaking right now. Stove? Stove. I'm spraying the counters down. I'm just going to do a huge wipe down this morning of all the flat surfaces. <laughs> Jesse's in the living room watching TV, as you probably realized. There he is. Can you pick those up, please? Be careful. <laughs> He's in his underwear. I can't show him. But, um, yeah, I filmed some yesterday. I just forgot to edit. Uh, last night, Jesse actually fell asleep early on me. He was upset about something because he broke a cord. A charger cord. Well, he didn't break it, but he took it apart, so I had to fix it. But he got in trouble because it's dangerous, and uh, so he's mad. <laughs> and uh, he cried, so that you know they always fall asleep after they cry. I guess. Put them up somewhere. We'll give them to Granny when we see her coloring pages. Um, <laughs> I love you. You're so cute. Oh, <laughs> I don't have to edit that out. <laughs> Oh, is, he a, is that a fuzz or a bug? Okay, it's a fuzz. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? I, I, I filmed some yesterday, but I didn't get around to editing it or uploading it because he fell asleep on me. And he normally goes to bed really late, but he went to bed last night around 9. And, uh, well, he fell asleep on me. And I kept, I held him because I was snuggling him. <laughs> he doesn't get, to, I don't get to do that a lot. Uh, and then... Around 10 something, I was like, you know, I'm going to go put him in bed because he's not waking up. I thought he was going to wake up for a little while and go back to sleep. So we went to bed and he slept all night. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to, now that my everything's soaked for a minute, I'm going to wipe it all down. Ow. Poked myself in the eye. <laughs> Dude, calm down. <laughs> I'm sitting here. I got a um, priority box. I don't know what size it is. I think it's 12 by 12. 12 by 12 by 8. I'm about to fill it up with some yarn. <laughs> Where's the camera over here? Jesse, honey, leave it alone, okay? Because I don't want you to break it. I'm not breaking it. Well, leave it alone anyways. But I'm going to fill it up with yarn because I got someone that I want to send some happy mail to. And they don't know that it's coming. And they won't know until they get it. <laughs> Unless they have um, informed delivery like I do. Um... So I'm going to fill this full of yarn and just leave enough room at the top to put a little card in there. And then I'm going to send it 
uh, to them. I've got my boxes here that was recently gifted to me. Uh, I've already got some of it out and used some of it to make cows and stuff with. And I'm going to go through it and find some yarn to give them. And then I'm going to go through my own, you know, my shelves <laughs> and uh, try to fill this full of yarn for them. And I hope that it makes them happy. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm just chewing some Tums. Whew, got indigestion. Whew, I was gone all day. <clears throat> so I got pizza for dinner. Just cheap pizza. And now I'm paying for it. <laughs> I just walked through the door and it is almost 6 o'clock. Go figure. <laughs> as soon as I start recording, it's time for Devin to go break. <laughs> but I was just coming around the house turning on my Halloween lights. My child. <laughs> and if there's the other ones. Whew, I'm exhausted. I took Devin to work and then I went and got my sister and my nephew. And me, her... Her son and my son <laughs> all went to another town semi close to us so I could go to Joanne's to get a new sewing machine. But I saw it random. My mom gave me this. It's a yarn bag from Hobby Lobby. She bought it a while ago and never uses it. So she asked me if I wanted it and I was like, uh, of course I do. <laughs> but I got a new sewing machine. There's the front of it. I think this is the front. Oh, it's huge. It's so much bigger. It's the Singer Patchwork. It's a quilting machine, but obviously you can do regular sewing too. Uh, it is 7285Q. I'm about to open it. I'm going to record an opening. <laughs> Although that'd be fun to film it and, uh, you know, my first impression. And then eventually do a review on it when I use it a lot enough to do a review on it. But I got a card today in the mail. Let me, I can't remember where it's from. Idaho, ID, Idaho, and it's from Lorley, Lorley, she wrote down there for me, I uh, had to pronounce it, and she said it's pronounced lore, like in folklore, Lee, so it's Lorley, which is really cool, I never heard the name before, when I first read it, I just glanced at it, and I thought it said Lorelai, because I wasn't paying attention, but it's a really pretty horse and thunderstorm which is really cool it needs to go on my wall which i need to update y'all need to remind me to do that but she wrote me a really nice little note and i appreciate it so much i just love getting snail mail so even if it's just a card or a postcard it makes me super happy you don't have to write on a huge note or anything i just get excited but first most of y'all can't remember if i explained it damage just text i gotta hurry <laughs> um my sewing machine the feet the little metal feet that feed the material through the machine weren't working right they're working but super slowly like I have to push it through to get it to sew or it will take forever to do one bag which I ain't got time for that I gotta make a hundred bags in a week so even though that my cheap machine I said it's cheap because I bought it for like 70 bucks at Walmart five years ago it's a brother over there if it's fixable I will fix it but I don't have the time to fix it right now so I went ahead and took some money out of our savings I talked to Devin about it of course and we decided it'd be best for me to just go ahead and invest in a new machine, a better machine, because I am doing Etsy so much more as an income. Because YouTube is fun, and I love doing it, of course, but it's not near, you know, I don't bring home nearly as much with YouTube as I do with Etsy. YouTube's more like just the fun part, you know, sharing crochet and having fun. Etsy's the moneymaker, so I need to invest in a new machine for the business part of No Case Your Name. So, and I'm super excited. I can't wait to open it. <laughs> But I have to because I gotta talk to Devin. He's on lunch. But I'm gonna hop off here real fast, talk to him, and then I'll come back and finish talking about what I was saying. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't do an unboxing video. Like, there's the box and stuff. I gotta put it all nice and neat in case I have to return it for technical reasons. But I got it set up and using it. I just used it to put in my first zipper with the new machine. Look at it. It is, it makes, it's not super quiet. Obviously, it's a sewing machine, but it's a lot quieter than my brother. <laughs> And it's going to take a little while for me to get used to. Like on my brother, the reverse um, stitch button is right here. And on this one, it's up here. And I don't know, you know, it's a, new, a whole new machine and it's way fancier than my um, my brother. And, uh, and I'm not knocking that machine at all because it got me through five years. I made some skirts with it when I first got it and I made some alterations to clothes and then I started making bags and then I started making a ton of bags and I think I got the money's worth out of that so even if I can't fix it uh it did its job <laughs> and it's not broken completely like and I, I'm gonna keep it anyways because it's 
my neighbors. My face is red. I think my blood pressure's up. I'll go check it in a minute. Um, it's special, you know, it's the machine that started No Catchy Name Bags. But I'm going to keep it because the girl that I babysit, she wants me to teach her how to sew over Christmas break. And if I have two machines, even if that one doesn't work super fast, but that's good for a beginner. So I can set her up beside me and show her how to sew. Um, so I'm excited about that because uh, it's a super easy. The brother machine is super easy for beginners. And this one, I figured it out pretty quick. <laughs> so um, I'm a little intimidated by the amount of stitches and the different things they all do. But that's just a learning thing, you know. As I get more into sewing, I can learn more about all those different stitches. Some of them are decorative. And then there's a bunch of buttonhole stitches. And then there are different functional stitches. So uh, it's just a learning curve, you know. But um, I brought some bags in here and I put a zipper in. This Hello Kitty bag was the first one I ever did. It still needs top stitching. But um, I'm going to put all the zippers in and then I'll go back and top stitch. And then I can go back and close the bags and this works faster. <laughs> the um, the issue with the other machine, I think I was saying it earlier, is the feed dogs. They weren't working the way they're supposed to. They're super slow for some reason. And it was like a chore to get it to go through, the material to go through um, the feed dogs. And uh, if... I didn't push it the material through physically it would make a bird's nest of bobbin thread on the underneath of the material so I'm not sure it could be a super easy fix or you know I don't know I'm just gonna I took it apart and cleaned it and did some basic stuff and uh, it was still doing it but I'm gonna try to look into it but I needed a new a sewing machine that worked <laughs> so that's why I went ahead and, and invested in this one and um, I'll be able to write off the cost of it somewhat in my taxes and um, you know, I needed one anyway, so I might as well just got one. This one does have an automatic threader on it, which is cool. The other one didn't, and, uh, I would just thread it myself, which I don't have trouble with right now, but, uh, as I get older, I might have trouble threading it, um, so that's just another time saver. It's kind of weird that the thread is sideways up here. <laughs> I have my other sewing machine is just standing straight up. But, um, I figured out how to wind the bobbin easily and how to, the threading of the machine is pretty much the same and doing the bobbin is almost the same. And this one actually, when the bobbin's full, it stops automatically. My other machine didn't. I accidentally, when I wasn't paying attention, I would overfill it and had to, like, wind it backwards on, back onto the thread. The spool thingy. But, uh, yeah, so it's pretty neat. I'm gonna be using it <laughs> all week, so I'll get used to it and, uh. Hopefully I'll be able to give a good review about it one day, but I probably won't do a review for it for a while because um, I need to actually use it to its potential, you know, do the different stitches and try different techniques and all that. So it's going to be a while. But it came with a um, extended table thingy. I don't know what these are called. I don't know the proper term, but to give you more room, that's awesome. That'll help with making the bags. Um, because the material is so large, the cuts. And it also came with a cover, its own little cover. Just a basic, like, canvasy one to help keep it clean. And it has a pocket that I stuck the manuals and the DVD and all that in. And the little um, tray actually has a lid where all the other feet and stuff are. The, the brother didn't, it was just like an open hole. And when I would do stuff with, um, when I would sew and I used pins, I would use that tray to collect all my pins in. But this one now has storage. And some of these uh, feet I'm just going to store somewhere else. And, like in my bedroom somewhere. Because I'll, I won't be using them anytime soon. Like I have no intentions of using the embroidery feet. Or the uh, buttonhole feet or anything anytime soon. I have no interest in doing that right now. So I'm just going to kind of declutter that and keep the stuff that's important. It's got needles and bobbins in there. And I'll put the feet in there that I will use uh, more often. And, which is just the regular foot and then the zipper foot and the ones I use the most of the time but as I learn to sew more um, a bigger variety of things I can learn how to use all the different feet and all the different stitches and it's gonna be really cool and I'm excited about um, having a brand new machine because this is to me this is a fancy machine this is originally $449 but they're having a sale right now at Joann's and this was marked down to $199 which is still a lot of money <laughs> to me for a machine because, I mean, my old machine was like $69, I think, when I bought it. And um, so this, I went ahead and decided to go get it because I had two. I bought a rebates for Joann's. One was for 15% cash back and one was for 10% for cash back. So um, 
I bought this saw machine today and I bought Jesse a thing of gummies and a little Christmas ornament that he wanted. And the total was $2.25. It would have came to $2.12 without Jesse's stuff. But then when I submitted it to Ibotta, I, uh, it let me ch check off both the 15 and the 10%. And it ended up using both. So it's like I got 25% cash back. So for my order of $2.25, I got back $56 and some change. And I already had a little bit of money on my Ibotta. So when I transferred it over to my bank account, it was $60, but it took a little fee, like $0.61, cents, so it was $59 that I got cash back today. So it was like I only spent $166 getting this $450 machine today. So I was super excited about that. So uh, actually, that $166, it came out of our savings fund today, but uh, it's technically from these bags <laughs> back there. Um, the money that I will make off of these bags will go towards our emergency fund for January where Devin's going to be off for two weeks and uh, 166 of it will be going back into our savings for pulling out to get this. So um, I'm glad I was able to get that huge chunk back on Ibotta. I was thinking I was only going to get like um, 30 something dollars but it, when it came back it said 56 something. And I was like, what the heck? They let me do both. I thought they would let me do one or the other, but they did both. And I'm not complaining. <laughs> so I got $56 back today on this. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I did have to drive a little far to get it. It's about 45 minutes from my house. But um, it was cheaper even if you calculate gas because our car is super good on gas. Um, driving there and back, I still got this machine cheaper than I could have gotten one at Walmart or something. And I wouldn't have been able to get this specific machine. So... Um, I think all in all it was a good day and a good trip. I can see from the camera that my face is super red so I'm going to go take my blood pressure real fast. I have a headache so I know it's high and um, I might relax. I was going to go ahead and sew some tonight but I think I'm just going to relax tonight because of all the driving and stuff and um, I, I opened my new sewing machine and I'm excited about it but I think I'm just going to go check my blood pressure and go in the living room and chill for a little while because I do have to go back tonight and get Devin. I had to keep the card today so I got to... Uh, leave later and pick him up but yeah so I'll, I'll probably see you guys later I'm not sure <laughs> okay I wanted to hop in real fast for all my uh, YouTube moms <laughs> I have a bunch out there and I appreciate all of you guys is um, being like extra moms for me always worrying about me and checking in on me and stuff my blood pressure is fine <laughs> I just took it and it's normal but I do have a headache and it's probably just from running around all day and I probably didn't drink as much water as I should have so I got me a big old Pocahontas, <laughs> my phone just popped up and said it was dying. Pocahontas cup um, of water, nice cold water that I'm going to sit here and drink. And I just took an ibuprofen because uh, my head's hurting. But I think it's just from being busy all day and I haven't eaten a ton today. And I didn't, I know I didn't drink enough water today. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys a better look at this bag. I was with my mom when she bought this, but I don't remember. <laughs> I was doing my own thing. I was in Hobby Lobby, so I wasn't paying attention to what my mom was doing. But she bought this because she's trying to get back into crocheting. She used to crochet a long time ago. We have blankets um, that she made us. She kind of taught me how to crochet. She taught me how to chain and do single crochet. But then everything else I learned from books from the library and from blogs and from YouTube over the years. <laughs> I got really into it. I've been doing it since I was 12, but I got super into it when I was about 18. Um, that's when I started learning about amigurumi and making character hats and stuff. But anyways, she got this bag. <laughs> And then she, it was on clearance. It's when they had that big mark down. I don't know how much she paid for it. It's got all kinds of pockets. It's got a pocket on the side. A big one on the back. Another one on this side. And then the front has three little pockets. And then a big pocket. <laughs> and then the inside has two sections. And it's really pretty and really looking. And uh, it's stiff. It's got like a harder board or something. Or plastic. Um interfacing it <laughs> and um so i told her i'll probably use it as my whip bag for in the living room like on the couch and stuff i'm burning up my face is red <laughs> but uh, my blood pressure is fine i just checked it so i don't know why my face is flushing so red but yeah because it can fit a lot of yarn in there and all my accessories and even patterns can all fit in there i'm pretty excited about it and snacks <laughs> but uh i got a whip right there and this is actually it's kind of a whip. I made one square. I started on a Christmas blanket and then I tell myself, nope, stop. Don't do that. Because <laughs> I have two Jada blankets and the unraveled mitten blanket 
going. I need to finish at least one of those before I start another blanket. Because I want a Christmas blanket for the couch. I have my snowflake one, but I want a big comfy one that I could line like the Halloween one. But um, I need to wait and not do that right now because I got all those whips I need to deal with. So I'm actually I'm going to put that up and uh, not work on it until I get some other stuff done. But I got all my old sewing stuff over there. And all my old bobbins and stuff like that. Well, really just the bobbins. The old bobbins and then the sewing machine. Our brother. So, um, I'll just put it all up and keep it nice and clean and all that. And then if the girl that I babysit wants to learn to sew this winter break, I have two machines. So, she can use one while I use the other. And, uh. I'm going to keep that machine forever anyways because it was the one that started it all. I told Devin when we get a house and I have my own craft room, I want to, because we're planning on building floor to ceiling <laughs> shelves for like yarn and stuff. I want like cube shelves but built in ones and um, just regular like the 12, 12 inch by 12 inch cubes but then maybe some bigger ones and then put that actually in one as like kind of like a decoration um, just because it's, you know, OG. It's the original one that I learned to sew on and started making the bags on there you know that machine's made us a lot of money for our family so um it's special i don't want to just donate it or something and uh, it'll be even more special if cat learns on it because then it would have taught both of us and uh who knows you know she's only oh gosh she's 12 <laughs> almost 12 um she'll be 12 in february but um she may grow up and be even more in the crochet community and sewing community than i am because she's, you know, I taught her two years ago, I think, how to crochet. And she still does it. And she's interested in sewing. And I think she's tried to learn knitting, but she prefers crochet. And uh, so she she may be making videos when she's older. And uh, she might get super famous or something. I don't know. I told her to remember me if she does. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to hop off here and relax for a little while before I have to go get Devin. I don't know what time it is. I can't read that backwards. Ugh. It's 7.20. I need to check and make sure my Halloween lights are lit up right. Sometimes the witch gets, because she's one of those blow up things, she falls back on her motor. So when she blows up, she blows up at a weird angle. And I have to go out there and straighten her up. But I'm just going to stay here. I think I'll turn some friends on or something that's kind of you know funny and I don't have to pay attention to it. And just chill and drink some water. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow because this is probably the last time I film because I just want to chill and relax. Jesse's at my mom's. I can't remember if I said that. And I will probably go pick him up Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday and then I can sew all the notion pouches tomorrow because they're the most annoying because of the zippers. And uh, I can sew with him here but I hate sewing the zippers when he's here because I'm always afraid that I'm going to break a needle and a piece of it's going to fly somewhere and it's going to hit him or he's going to step on it. Because I've broken plenty of needles and they do usually break into three pieces. The part that's stuck in the machine, the part that's still on the thread, and then the middle piece that flies off and it usually hits me in the face. I tell Devin I need to get a pair of his safety glasses and wear it when I sew zippers because I always break needles. That adds up after a while. Needles. But, um, yeah. So I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. I'll vlog. <laughs> I need to try to make some more crochet -y videos. Um, I haven't done a crochet and chat in forever, but I haven't gotten a lot of questions from people. <laughs> So there's one thing I will throw out there. Uh, Terry's been having people ask her questions and then she answers them. And I thought that was cool. So if you have any questions um, about crochet or sewing to an extent, because I'm not experts at either, <laughs> I will try to answer them. Or even my personal life, which is not super personal. <laughs> and um, just ask them and leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them <laughs> randomly. Or I'll do crochet chats like I used to do. Or I'll just answer them in the next vlog, October or whatever. But uh, one question I get a lot is my eyebrow. And I've actually had two rude comments about it. <laughs> but both of those people are gone now. So it doesn't matter. But my eyebrow is not a horrible plucking accident. It is a scar from when I was under a year. is before I could walk. I was in a walker. The little rolly things. And my older brother uh, left the door open to our back door. And my little self was like, ooh freedom so I went scooting over there and my mom said that she looked up and saw me going to the door and before she could yell you know what my brother or whatever um she saw me flip over <laughs> out the door and uh we grew up pretty poor <laughs> we lived in a trailer back then 
and uh, not like the nice trailers either. It's like the old 80s single wide ones. But um, and our we didn't have a porch. We had just cinder blocks, concrete blocks. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but um, you know, I steps. So I hit one of those with my little head, and it just happened to hit right on my eyebrow and cut a big gash. And you know, I was bleeding and crying. And they had to take me to the ER. And uh, she said they had to strap me on like a gurney, and I was screaming the whole time. She had to go out of the room because she couldn't do anything, and she was upset. But they, they gave me some stitches. I had like five or six stitches, and it's just a scar. It actually really irritates me sometimes, and I think it's just because the skin is dead, you know. Uh, it starts right here, and it ends down here somewhere. <laughs> um, like, especially in the summer when I'm sweaty, it itches like crazy, and I scratch it sometimes raw. So, uh, and sometimes it looks crazy. But sometimes I do try to brush it out like that. But there for a while it was really popular, like in the fashion, to cut your eyebrow in half and then fluff it up and down. I think it was called feathered or something like that. So I fit in halfway at that time. <laughs> but um, it absolutely does not bother me at all. Like I don't even care. Half the time I forget it's even there. Like more than half the time. 99% of the time I forget about it. And when I'm talking about it, sometimes I have to look to even remember which eyebrow it is. But, um... I don't know why it bothers some people. <laughs> uh, I think it's kind of stupid that something on my face bothers someone so much that they think they need to comment on it. But um, it doesn't bother me at all. I don't mind it. I do kind of, sometimes when I'm ner you know, like, not nervous, but when I, subconsciously I stroke it. <laughs> but um, I've never tried to hide it. I'm not into makeup. I've, I haven't worn makeup since I was, like, 12. Um, I probably should. <laughs> but, um... I always hated the way makeup felt. It was heavy and I could just always feel it. I was always aware of it and I was like, this is so gross. And um, it's just never been my thing. I've always been a tomboy. So I will never hide my eyebrow. <laughs> I will never pluck it or fill it in or any of that stuff. And if you feel like I should, then that's your problem. And you can always leave my videos. It's not that hard. You just click a button. But that's it. But yeah, if you have any questions for me, leave them below and I'll try to answer them eventually. <laughs>